In fact, let's get this straight out right now. On one of the documentaries, um, what's the guy's name? He's a lawyer who's a lawyer for Dick Griffey says that Suge beat up a member of the wrecking crew. Suge ain't beat up no member for the wrecking crew. Okay. It was unknown. He had a problem. They always got us confused. They always got us twisted up. Okay. Him and unknown had a problem. What Lonzo? I didn't go around death row like that. I didn't, I didn't, all money ain't good money for me. I'm sorry, folks. That's been my philosophy all my life. I saw that on handwriting on the wall. Yeah, it was a lot of money, but I don't need the headache. I like sleeping at night. I don't like living, living, looking over my shoulder. I go wherever I want. The other day, I'll tell you a true story. Have me the other day. I'm, I'm at Denny's over in our, over on our Imperial and Crenshaw. Me and one of my folks having breakfast. And um, this dude walked up to this dude stepped. Hey, 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 excuse me, sir. And I could tell this cat he was he was in the life. Okay, blue tattoos all over his face. Blue sweatsuit, you know, and he was one of them dudes. Okay, he said, "Man, I know you, man. You look familiar. You look familiar, dude. I, I, did you want? Would you be on Vlad or something?" I said, "Yeah, man, that's me. Uh, wrecking crew, right? Yeah, yeah." And I could tell that he was from the other side, or he was, he was, you know, from the blue team. Okay, yeah, man. Yeah, but I tell him, "My girl, I knew, I recognize you." That right there, for me, lets me know I don't. Ain't, no, ain't nobody checking for me like that. I've been, I've been the same way. All my life, I'm, I'm, I've been, a, I've been a grown man since the, since the '80s. Okay, if I was like that, niggas would have been got with me. I ain't, I, I ain't hard to find. I run nightclubs. I'm, at, I'm out at two or three o'clock in the morning. I was. So when I made a, I made a conscious decision not to do certain things. Okay, I don't like living on my shoulder. That man walked up to me. He, he, he was, he was very humble. He was very polite. Now. According to his face, where he come from, if I saw him someplace else, I might not have felt that comfortable talking to him. Because you could tell, you know, he, he, you know, he been to jail or something, I've been to a hell of a tattoo artist, okay? But on the same token, I'm in San Diego uh, Sunday. I took the train to San Diego, took, had to do a show out there, just hanging out with a buddy of mine, doing a DJ show. And Amtrak was shut down from San Diego to Irvine, so we had to catch a bus. It was one of them luxury buses from Irvine, from San Diego to Irvine. And I'm standing in line, I got my mask pulled down because my beard was itching. And home, this white big, white dude, big white boy. Look, Lonzo, is that Lonzo? Lonzo Williams? I said, yeah, what's up, man? Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, God damn, Mr. Godfather, West Coast Hip, oh, man. Hey, I I'm embarrassed as shit. <laughs> I'm embarrassed. I'm the only black person on the damn bus. Big white boy is giving me all this praise. I'm, I'm walking here. Thank you, man. Much love. He gave me dab. I gave him dab. Whatever the case may be. He wanted the picture, but he he had to load the bus up. But he was like, "Oh man, it's hip hop royalty." Blah blah blah. So, and I said, "I'll just say this. I missed a lot of money. I missed. I may have missed a lot of money in my life, so I can sleep at night. Okay." I may have missed a lot of money so I can sleep and go where the fuck I want to go when I want to go. Yeah. 